The anime begins with a memory where a high school girl meets a classmate while they were sheltering from a sudden rain, he greets her, but they both look very nervous at that. The girl asks him if he is going to the summer festival and then blushes a lot. For this reason, she changes the subject. But at that moment, the boy offers her a shirt so she can dry off with it. But the girl gets nervous when she hears that the boy had used the shirt. And thanks to this, the boy laughs. Later, we see that the boy invites his classmate on a date and asks her to meet him at a specific place. Although he could not say it without covering his face, a moment later, we see how a boy bothers the girl, which makes her shout that she hates all men. But just at that moment, her classmate was passing by and he did not say anything to her. But at the night of the date, after waiting a long time, the boy did not appear, and some time later, the girl heard that her classmate changed the school, and she tells us that even though he was a weak and shy boy, she loved him and sometimes thinks she would like to go back to those times. It is there, when we see the girl wake up, she introduces herself as Futaba, and tells us that despite everything, she has reached this stage of her life without major problems. Once at school, our protagonist meets her friends, called Chai and Azumi. The last one compliments her for her attitude, belittling one of her classmates, who is called Makita, who they despise for being a pick-me girl. At that moment, we can see Futaba's past, where no one approached her because they considered her conceited, just for being pretty. And for this, the protagonist, when starting classes again, decided to throw her beauty in the trash so that the girls would like her and thus be able to have friends. Back in the present, and at lunchtime, Futaba hears a boy being called, who she mistakes for her old classmate, surnamed Tanaka, but he only turned out to be a new teacher. And after that, a boy mentions that he finds Futaba cute, which makes the girl start to carelessly eat her lunch. To scare him away, however, while walking, she collides with a boy, who she thinks may be Tanaka, so she chases him. But when she is about to reach him, a boy arrives and calls him Mabuchi, making the girl relieved for not having shouted his name. After leaving class, the protagonist heads home with that boy still on her mind, when she realizes that he is in front of her. And when he also realizes her presence, she becomes nervous and clarifies that she is not chasing him, but he just keeps walking, and then enters the temple where a few years before they had taken shelter from the rain, it is at that moment that Futaba realizes that it is him, so she chases him into the temple. Once she reaches him, she calls him by his last name Tanaka, but he corrects her and tells her that he is Mabuchi, leaving the girl confused. Then he explains to her that his parents got divorced, and that's why his name changed, he also tells her. She says that it took her a long time to realize his presence, but he noticed her immediately, although he tells her that she acts very differently and offers her a hug for reunion but she, very nervous, rejects him. Then he remembers that she hates him boys, which she confirms, but she lets him know that he is different, and she had always wanted to tell him that, and there, the boy covers his face and tells her that he was in love with her, but that they can't go back to all that, since now he and she are very different, which makes Futaba want to cry, but he tells her not to and leaves. The next day at school, the protagonist is buying her lunch, and due to a misunderstanding, a woman thinks that she has not paid, so she grabs her arm and demands her tie pay, drawing everyone's attention, including Futaba's friends, who believe that she was indeed stealing. However, Mabuchi arrives to help Futaba prove that she had already paid, causing the lady to let her go and tell her to leave. But Mabuchi does not let the woman leave without first insulting her and demanding that she apologize to the girl in a very cold manner, and she does so. After that, Futaba runs after the boy to thank him for what he did. Then the boy questions his friendship with Chai and Asumi, since it seems ridiculous to him and treats the protagonist in a very cold way. So she realized that when he said they couldn't go back, he was very serious. Then the girl remembers how when they were younger they played, and when she was very close to him and could smell his aroma, she would get very nervous and the kids would help each other and have fun, making the protagonist regret that they can no longer be like that again. After that, we see Futaba, who is having lunch with her classmates, who make fun of her for what happened to her in the cafeteria. At that moment, a teacher arrives and sends the girl to look for some papers, but when she asks her friends to go with her, they reject her, reaffirming what Mabuchi told her, that they are just playing to be friends. Going out to the schoolyard, Futaba notices that Makita is alone outside, so she asks her what she is doing there, and when the girl answers that the weather is nice, she corrects her by saying that it is very cold. The protagonist really likes Makita's charm, and when the girl notices it, she gives it to her and thanks her for talking to her, explaining that people think she is a cheesy girl, but she really only gets nervous when talking to boys. After that, Futaba gives her a hand warmer to thank her for the charm and to protect herself from the cold. 
A moment later, Futaba meets Mabuchi, who is talking to Professor Tanaka about his grades. Then the girl goes to collect the papers she needed to take to her classroom. And when she leaves the teacher's room, she meets Mabuchi, who makes fun of her because he realized that her friends did not want to help her. And when she asks him, he refuses to help her and leaves. However, Professor Tanaka arrives to help her. He talks to her and recommends her to be patient with Mabuchi and then lets her return to her classroom alone. Upon arriving, Futaba analyzes what Mabuchi told her about her friends, but she still believes that it is better than being alone again. But the moment the girls start mocking and criticizing Makita again, the protagonist gets fed up, so she tells them is that they are envious and stupid for treating someone badly just because they are better than them. This obviously makes the girls get upset with her and leave Makita, who heard everything, thanks Futaba for defending her. After this, as she feels bad, the protagonist sits alone. But Mabuchi sees her, and when she admits that she did not have real friends, her tears come out on their own. But at that moment, classmates began to approach her. So Mabuchi hugged her so she could cover her face. This leaves the girl confused and the boy walks away. But before he leaves, Futaba tells him that from now on, she will call him Ku. And he accepts without much emotion. After this, time passes and the semester ends, so Futaba goes to her old friends and apologizes for how she spoke to them. They accept the apology, but they don't want to have her around again, showing that they were never really her friends. At that moment, Makita arrives, who confesses to Futaba that she wants to talk to her more about many things and the protagonist confesses that she feels the same way. Then they say goodbye and Futaba runs to look for Ku, whom she finds at the entryway of the school. Then, Futaba tells Ku that even though things are not good, she intends to start from scratch, so he is happy for her. At that moment, Professor Tanaka arrives, who mentions to Ku that they will have dinner together that day. So the protagonist gets very nervous, thinking that they could be a couple, but the boys clarify that they are only brothers, and when the older brother hears the girl's name, he remembers that that was the name of the girl his brother liked, to the point of writing her name in his notebook. But when the boy goes to mention it, Ku takes Futaba away, taking her by the arm and taking her away from her older brother. Then, as they continued walking, Futaba asks Ku many questions about his current life, and he gets upset with her for asking too much. But she doesn't understand why he takes her arm. So he lets her go, however, the girl gets worried because the boy looks empty. So she takes him in her arms and confesses that there are many more things she wants to know. Then the boy rests his head on her shoulder and asks her if she waited for him that day when they had the date and she answers yes. So he apologizes and explains that even though he had heard her say that she hated boys, he still wanted to go to the appointment. But at that time problems began at home and he couldn't attend there. The girl understood that Ku went through many things that she cannot understand. So she apologizes for asking him so many questions and they walk home together. And before saying goodbye, Futaba reminds Ku that he will have dinner with his brother. However, the boy leaves him standing. Some time later, the new semester begins and the protagonist is happy when she realizes that she is going to be in the same class as Makita. And upon entering the classroom, she greets her and a blonde boy named Kaminato draws everyone's attention as he approaches Tamuro, a girl in the same class as them. The boy encourages her and tells her that he will make sure that this year is better for her. At that moment, Ku arrives, who criticizes the boy's attitude. Then Futaba realizes that they are now in the same class. A while later, while Ku is talking with some classmates, he sticks his tongue out at the protagonist, which makes her blush. There, Makita enters the classroom, and at that moment, some girls start talking about her. So Futaba decides to talk to her to encourage the other girls to talk to her too. But the girls start talking about her too. At that moment, Morel arrives, who greets them, but she puts on headphones so as not to hear anyone. Then, at the end of class, the teacher asks the kids to elect class presidents and events presidents. So to really make things different this year, Futaba volunteers to be president, and later, Ku offers himself as president, although he clarifies that he only did it to leave faster. And when choosing the event presidents, Makita offers herself, and surprisingly, Miro volunteers too. And of course, behind her was Kaminato. This way, the group ended up formed. Some time later, we see Futaba, who is looking for Ku because they are going to a school event together. Since they are class presidents, however, when he opens the door, he is shirtless, which transforms Futaba into a tomato, and it got worse when the girl touched his bare skin as she pushed him to hurry up. After this, the duo go to the train station. However, the girl leaves her suitcase at Ku's house. Thanks to this, they have to go back to look for it. And when they return to the station, they quickly get on a train without realizing that it was one that was going in the opposite direction. Therefore, the teacher orders the group to leave without them. 
and that they meet later on the train, Futaba offers her friend to sleep. While she waits and tells him when they can get off, however, she also falls asleep. Upon arriving at the place, the teacher scolds them, and at lunchtime, Professor Tanaka informs Futaba and her classmate that they will have to write a letter to apologize, to which Ku does not give much importance, which makes Miro get very upset with him for causing trouble for his brother. But Ku laughs at her and Kaminato gets upset with Ku for not respecting her. This way, the atmosphere becomes awkward, and then, in a group activity, where they had to answer questions, no one wants to participate, and when the time to explain what they answered comes, Ku gets up and makes something up, but his brother asks him to say something else. So he says what Futaba had originally written, that the events on school are to create happy memories, which makes the girl blush. Later at night, Ku and Futaba talk about what they think about each other, when on impulse, Futaba strokes his hair. So the boy asks her if she is in love with him, but she answers no, and he also declares that he is no longer in love with her and calls her incompetent. The next day, the teens are cleaning in a forest, where we see that Ku and Futaba are mad at each other, as is Makita with Kaminato for having taken a muffin from her at lunch. So the girl walks away from there when actually she overhears a conversation between Miro and Professor Tanaka, where he tells her to go with the other students and reminds her that he has already told her several times that as long as she is a student and he is a teacher, they must keep their distance. So she sadly obeys him and walks away. However, Miro notices that Makita heard them, but she doesn't say anything and walks away. On the other hand, Futaba thinks that she should make things up to Ku. But when she is looking for him, she sees him talking to a girl and hides, since she thinks it is a love confession, but she realizes that she was hiding behind two older boys, which begin to pressure her, so she gets nervous, until Ku arrives and pushes the boys away saying that she is his girlfriend, which makes Futaba blush and wonder if she really likes her friend. After that, we see the group that is doing an activity where they must drink a smoothie and identify the ingredients to get points there. Futaba asks Miro to try the drink to help them. She, hearing that the drink was made by Professor Tanaka, takes it and manages to identify the missing ingredient, so the team manages to advance. Suddenly, all the members of the team get motivated and begin to pass the rest of the tests very quickly, until they get a code, which they believe means they should go to the largest lake in that forest, so they go towards it. But unfortunately, they end up getting lost. But when they hear a river, the teens check the map and decide to cross it to reach the goal. While crossing the river, Futaba hurts her ankle, but focuses her attention on Makita, who cannot pass the river because she is very afraid. So Ku returns and calms her down so she can cross, and the girl makes it. But unfortunately, Futaba's ankle continues to hurt when walking, but she decides to ignore it so as not to get in the way of the group. But Ku notices, so he carries her until they manage to get out of the forest, and they find the teachers. Later at night, while resting, Futaba and Makita talk, and Makita promises to be her friend by not leaving her alone. And Futaba promises not to leave her alone, since she knows how that feels. And Moreau listens to them in silence later, before before dawn, the protagonist gets up to drink water, when she sees Ku outside, and goes out to ask him what he is doing and he tells her that he wants to see the sunrise, so Futaba calls the rest of the team to see it too. So the group is very happy for having created a happy memory, however. Thanks to this, the students fall asleep on the bus back home. At the station, Futaba tells Ku that her mother is going to pick her up, but he starts petting a cat as an excuse not to leave her waiting alone. Then he leaves and Futaba realizes that the Ku of the present is of her liking, and she doesn't need Ku from the past. At that moment, she checks a message from Makita, and it says that she thinks she is in love with Ku. After that, we see the protagonist walking to school with her friend, and she apologizes to her friend for not answering her message. So she asks her if she is in love with Ku, but Futaba flatly denies it, and after thinking about it, and she concludes that she just should not fall in love with Ku, and thinks that it will be easy because he is not a very special boy. When both girls greet Ku, Futaba comments to Makita that she shouldn't be so obvious about it, however, the girl tells him that she wants him to notice. After that, Futaba, Makita, and Murao eat lunch in the classroom, when Makita asks the protagonist what Ku was like when she studied with him. But when the girl was explaining it to her, Ku arrives, so Futaba hides it by talking badly about Ku, which makes the boy give her a heads lock to apologize and Makita mentions that it looks funny. But on the other hand, Kaminato tells Ku that he would never do that to a girl to get Muro's attention. For this, Ku tries to humiliate him in front of Muro, but she didn't care, not even a bit. Later, in gym class, Makita continues asking Futaba questions about Ku, 
Although she cannot answer them, followed by this, the girl tells her why she is in love with a boy and tells her that it was thanks to the time when he returned to the river to help her pass. She was surprised by his ability to calm her and at the same time accelerate her heart. Futaba understands her, while Miro only sees Professor Tanaka from afar with a sad face. Then, when class is in, a teacher tells the presidents that they have to make a report to take to the teacher's room, so the young couple will have to stay alone until later. And while they are making the report, Futaba gets very nervous, and when the girl comes to take a note that Kaminato had put on the boy's back, the boy tells her to stop sniffing his hair, just like she did a few years ago when they were playing. This makes the girl embarrassed, and she feels bad, since every time her heart beats thanks to Ku, the image of Makita appears in her mind. When she finishes and goes to deliver the report, but she feels guilty, so, to avoid spending more time with Ku, she tells him to leave without her and that she will take report to the teacher's room. And the boy accepts, however, after doing so, Futaba finds Ku at the exit waiting for her and tells her to walk home with him. Then, on the way to the station, Futaba isn't sure whether or not it's okay for her to like the same boy as her friend, so, not knowing what to do, she decides that she won't get on the train, and if Ku stays on the train, she will let him go. But if he stays with her, she will love him and be with him. So Futaba tells Ku that she forgot something at school, and after much suspense, we finally see that the boy got off the train with the intention of accompanying her to school again. But Futaba confesses that she really didn't forget anything, and he only comments that she really is someone who is very distracted. At that moment, Futaba comments that she really is a liar, since she had said that she didn't know if she liked Ku or not, however, while she had her eyes closed, she wished with all her heart that he would get off the train. After that, the teens wait sitting together, Ku gives Futaba water, and then takes it from her to drink, which makes Futaba nervous, since if they drink from the same bottle, it would be an indirect kiss, so the boy drinks water without sticking to the bottle, but that makes the boy choke and start coughing. There Futaba reaches her bag to give him a wipe, but she realizes the mess she had in her bag just to keep the boys away, and she feels very pathetic because of that. Just then, a train passes by, and Ku asks Futaba if she has perfume on, and logically, she doesn't know what to say, but she plays dumb and tells him that he should say the jokes in a way that doesn't sound so real, and tells him that she has to buy shampoo on the way home, so she does that, and for the first time in years, she's worried that the shampoo she chooses smells really good but she comments that it feels good to worry about those things. While in line at the store, Futaba notices a charm that was the same one that Makita had given her. So as he leaves the store, he begins to think about her and wonder if he will end up hating her for loving the same person as her. At that moment, a girl named Yumi appears, and the protagonist tells us that she is a friend she had a few years ago. In fact, she is the only one who stayed with her when everyone stopped talking to her, until one day she also walked away from her. Then, the girls sit down to talk in the park there, Yumi apologizes to Futaba for staying away from her, and explains that she did it because there was a rumor that she also liked the boy she had a crush on, and when the girl went to ask her if it was true, she was looking at the boy however, Futaba was only looking at him because she wanted to ask him if he knew anything about Ku since they were friends. After this, the girls say goodbye and Futaba thinks that Makita is probably going to hate her hate after she confesses it but states that she is going to tell her, since he cannot deny her love for Ku any longer. The next day at school, Futaba sees how Ku talks to Makita and sees that they even text each other, which surprises her. Later, at lunchtime, the protagonist feels unmotivated, so she goes to sit alone and Makita tries to look for her, however, Ku jumps out of a window and crouches very close to Futaba, and we can see that this was because he was running away from his brother. At that moment, Ku asks Futaba if she changed her shampoo, to which she answers that she did because she wanted to be more attractive to him. So Ku tells her that she is right about saying the jokes without making them sound too real. Before leaving, Koi tells her that Makita is looking for her. This makes Futaba think, so she feels very sad to the point of crying since she knows that she will probably lose her most precious friendship that day, and at the end classes, Makita invites her to go eat together and Futaba accepts. After leaving school, Futaba is determined to tell her that same day. She even says that if she does not do it, she will cut her hair really short as a punishment, however, Makita invites Mirao to go with them. So she had to do it in front of both of them, however, when she finally does it. Makita doesn't seem to mind, she just asks her to promise that if one manages to stay with Ku, the other girls should not be angry with her, and Futaba accepts and Makita goes to the bathroom. In the bathroom, Makita analyzes what Futaba told her and feels somewhat insecure, but concludes that they are both in the same situation, 
and she will not let that separate her from her friend. Meanwhile at the table, Moreau seems not to know what to say and Futaba is very sad and assigned, so she can't even look her in the eyes. At that moment Makita arrives with her eyes looking a little bit red, which makes Futaba feel worse when she realizes that her friend cried in the bathroom. At that moment, Moreau says out loud that she is in love with Professor Tanaka, which surprises the protagonist a lot although she is also surprised that Makita is not surprised. So Miro tells her that she found out by accident, and then seeing how they care about each other, she decided to tell them about her forbidden love. In addition, she motivates them to do the best they can, and tells them that they have very bad taste, since she thinks Ku is just a brat. While the girls talk, Kaminato sees them from a distance, happy that Miro is feeling comfortable with her new friends. Later, on the way home, Futaba finds Ku petting the cat from last time, so Ku tells her that he is worried about the cat since it looks thinner, but when she suggests that he can take it home and take care of it, he refuses and says that taking care of something brings a lot of problems and leaves without saying where he was heading to. For this reason, Futaba enters the train to follow him, then they arrive at a square where Ku sits down to talk with some boys, then the girl approaches and talks to him with an angry tone. So the boys start to joke with Ku saying that she is her girlfriend, but Ku denies it highlighting all of Futaba's unattractive features. Most of them faked by herself. As we already know, however, Ku's friends find her pretty, and they begin to approach her, and one even talks about her breasts, which makes Ku angry. So he leaves and Futaba goes after him. As they walk, Ku tells her to go other way, but she continues walking behind him until they both sit in a lonely place where Futaba asks him about the boys from before. But Ku answers that he only goes to that place to talk and mentions that she is too careless and that they or even him could have attacked her, but she tells him that she knows he wouldn't do anything to her, so he gets on top of her and shows her how weak she would be if she were in a situation like that, and when he gets off the girl starts to cry, so he apologizes for scaring her however, she only cries because she feels ashamed for being so excited. The next day at school, Futaba tells Makita what Ku told her the night before, which makes the girl worry, and they wonder if his grades in the midterms have been good. At that moment, Moreau arrives and tells them that she saw him talking to Professor Tanaka, and he told him that his grades were below average. Then the younger brother told him that he was leaving school, which upsets the teacher, who begs him not to do it. But the boy just he says he was joking. All this makes Miro angrier with him for causing problems for his brother while Futaba and Makita worry and the protagonist declares that to help him get away from those thoughts, they will have to make him have a good time. And at that point Makita tells Futaba looks prettier lately, so Futaba says it is because she is wearing a little bit of makeup, but her friend doesn't believe that's the only reason. Later, while they are in a class, Futaba observes Ku and he quietly asks her what she is looking at, then they begin to fight through their notebooks and the teacher notices it. Unfortunately, there was a drawing of the teacher in the notebook making fun of him, so the teacher scolds a coup. After that, Ku asks Futaba why she looks different, and she confesses that she is wearing a little makeup. There, Kaminato arrives and comments that the reason why someone who doesn't wear makeup starts doing so is because they are in love. Then Kaminato goes out with Ku, and he returns only to remove Futaba's lip gloss and tell her that it doesn't suit her. This act makes the protagonist mad and Makita feels sad. On the other hand, Ku and Kaminato go to the cafeteria, and on the way they meet some of Ku's former classmates, who are in the advanced classes, and they begin to make fun of him for having returned to standard classes and say that he only managed to reach the advanced classes because he is the brother of a teacher. At that moment, Kaminato defends Ku and tries to fight with the boys who run away. Ku does not understand why he did this, but Kaminato explains that he does not like people to badmouth his friends, but Ku doesn't say anything. After this, we see Makita, who talks to Professor Tanaka and tells him that she is worried about Ku. Then the professor remembers when his younger brother asked him for help when he was younger. But he tells Makita that now that he has friends that worry about him, he knows he will be fine. After that, Makita asks Futaba for help to gather the rest of the group and help Ku with his classes. This way, on the weekend, the boys' teens meet at Ku's house against his will. Obviously, the boy doesn't want to do it, but he has no choice, so he sits with them. Then Makita asks him for glasses, so the boy goes towards the kitchen and she goes after him. Once there, she helps him, and when she is about to ask him if he likes Futaba, the noise of the water running does not let him hear. Then the girl gets nervous and accidentally kicks a bat of potatoes, and one of them reaches a near room, and she goes there to get it. At that moment, Futaba realizes that they have taken a long time, so she goes to look for them. 
but when she arrives, they are both getting out of the room. But they tell her that they were not doing anything, however, Futaba suspects that it is not true. After that, the teenagers continued studying until Ku began to feel discouraged, but his friends motivated him to continue and plan to visit him again to study together. While all this was happening, the protagonist was consumed by curiosity to know what happened between his classmates. Then they left his friend's house, and when Futaba was about to go home, she returned to go back to Ku's house and ask him what happened between him and Makita. So when Futaba arrives at Ku's house, she pretends to have gone there because she left her phone. Then she says that she wants to go to the bathroom, and then that she wants to drink water until she's on her seventh cup, and Ku asks her what she really went for there. Futaba asks him what happened between him and Makita, and after insisting, Ku takes her by the arm and takes her to the room he had left before with Makita. There, we can see that in that room, there was an altar for Ku's mother. Then Futaba realizes what is happening, and she begins to cry because she feels like a selfish and bad person for putting Ku in this situation. So the boy explains what happened, wipes her tears, and holds her cheek thus having an intimate moment, which is interrupted by Professor Tanaka, who arrived just at that moment, who explains that it is not what it seems and decides to leave to work. Although he is really only going to walk after that, Professor Tanaka takes Futaba home, and on the way he tells her that he thinks his brother probably doesn't forgive him for leaving him alone with his mother, since just at that time he began his career as a teacher and moved out, so Ku had to take care of her practically alone. But he says that despite everything he is a good boy, and Futaba says she agrees, which makes them both cry. The next day on the school roof, Futaba apologizes to Makita, but also Makita apologizes to her, since she didn't really told her about Ku's mother to feel closer to the boy, because despite being the one who said that there should be no resentment between them, she is very jealous of Futaba, so both girls are very frustrated and have many mixed feelings, so they cry together and hug each other. After that we see that Kaminato gives study material to Ku, and the other classmates also decide to do so to continue supporting him, the boy looks happy, but somehow uncomfortable. After that we see Ku when he was younger, talking to a doctor, who was giving him the diagnosis of his mother, who turned out to have lung cancer, which had metastasized, so his mother's life expectancy was about six months. After this, Ku acts normally and tried to be strong for his mother, until he couldn't hold back her tears anymore and collapsed on the ground. At that moment he saw Futaba, who was running towards him. In that moment he woke up, since what we just saw had actually been a dream, and apparently Ku had fallen asleep while studying. Later at school, his friends force him to stay and study with them in the library, but he excuses himself to go to the bathroom. However, he leaves with his things and does not return. When Futaba realizes this, she gets very upset, and she prepares to look for him however, she bumps into a boy, falls on top of him, and accidentally touches his private parts, which makes her run away full of shame. After this, we see the young students get together to eat and have a good time talking, remembering the happy moments they have live together, which makes Futaba think that Ku should be there with them, so she goes to look for him at his house. But who opens the door is his older brother, and Futaba tells him that Ku doesn't let them into his heart but his brother explains to her that he doesn't know what to do to change that either, so Futaba decides to open the doors of his heart by force just like he did with her. After this, the girl runs to look for Ku to the place where she knew that he sometimes went to talk to people. While Professor Tanaka watches her from afar and thinks that she looks like a storm there, the girl finds him and runs towards him just like in the dream he had had then. They both walk together, until Futaba begins to question him and complain about his attitude. So Ku tries to explain his reasons. However, Futaba explains to him that she will never really be able to understand him but he wants to do it with all her heart there. Ku confesses that he is really afraid of approaching them, and at that moment Futaba pounces on him, and they both fall then. While they are lying on the ground, Futaba tells him that it is very good that he feels afraid, because that means that he really cares about his friends and he is afraid of losing them. And she tells him that because of them and small moments in which he feels happy, all those things come together and create something bigger that can make him want to move on. She says that she wants to see him laugh, cry and feel everything from the bottom of his heart, that no one is going to criticize him for that, and if someone does she is going to beat him up. At that moment Ku understands what Futaba means and begins to cry, since he finally understood that he can be happy and understands that after trying to be calm all this time, what he probably needed was a storm, while hugging and caressing Futaba. We then see Futaba trying to separate from him, but Ku asks her not to let go, which makes the girl think that it's probably because he doesn't want her to see him cry. There, Futaba feels bad since she wants to respect Ku. 
but she is also very curious to see how he looks after crying at that moment. He tells the girl that when she was running towards him, her expression was great, she thinks that he is making fun of her, but he tells her that he really thinks she is incredible. That is when Futaba manages to see his face and notices how his eyelashes are shiny due to tears and thinks that maybe it is a good time to declare her love however, when she is about to do so. Her stomach growls, interrupting her. So Ku suggests that they go to eat together before going home. But she tells him that they can't, since before going to see him, she saw that her brother was at his house and probably was cooking for him. Futaba also tells him how her brother told her that he feels that Ku resents him. But the boy says that it doesn't make sense, since he lived too far away and couldn't help it. So her friend recommends him to tell his brother that to make him feel better. Then we see how the couple says goodbye and heads to their homes. At that moment, Futaba is happy that Ku has finally opened his heart to her, and he feels very happy because even if she may fail, she always keeps trying to save him. When he gets home, Ku's brother offers him to eat, however, he rejects it and goes up to his room. While there, he hears his father coming home, then he goes downstairs and agrees to eat with them, and when his father sees him, Ku welcomes him and the man caresses his hair. Then everyone sits down together and Professor Tanaka can't help but start crying since he was waiting for that day for a long time. Then Ku tells them that when he was taking care of his mother, it didn't feel right to do things that she couldn't do, like eat with them. But his father explains that it is not what his mother would have wanted and comments that the food is very good, which creates a comfortable environment at the table. Then Ku talks to his father about the matter of their surnames and both his father and his brother understand his situation and tell him that he can change it when he is ready and that they have different surnames does not mean that they are not family. The next day at school, Futaba remembers the previous night and she is happy for having acted the way she did although she is also a little embarrassed and wonders how Ku will act with her from now on. At that moment, Ku arrives, and he, apparently, is just as embarrassed as she and can't even see her face to face. Then Kaminato arrives, who confronts him about what he did the day before. So Ku apologizes and asks him if he is free that day. Then all the classmates hear this and propose to make plans to study every day. After a time of hard work, everyone in the group passes with outstanding grades, Ku's being the best of all at that moment. We can see the boy on whom Futaba accidentally fell in the library the previous day, and he, upon realizing that she is there, quickly leaves. Ku realizes this, but Futaba changes the subject, reminding them that it is already summer. Then when class officially ends, they are on vacation. So Makita invites Futaba to go out somewhere, and she accepts and wants to invite Ku, however, it seems like he already left, so they are going to chase him, however. Miro stays behind and lets them follow him, and as the black-haired girl goes down the stairs, she hears her name being called, and it is Professor Tanaka, who is very happy that she has friends, and she tells him that even though she has found a place where she feels good, does not mean that the feelings for him have changed, and then she leaves, then Kaminato arrives, who threatens Professor Tanaka telling him that if he messes with her and she gets hurt, he will pay for it. So the teacher asks him if he then messes with her and doesn't get hurt, he wouldn't care, leaving Kaminato very frustrated. We then see the five friends get together and start planning their holiday activities. And what comes next in this story will have to wait.